Hey what's up guys welcome to this video. So in this video we are going to be automating the good morning text using python. Now what I mean is that we are going to be building a python program which is going to send good morning text messages to a particular mobile number every day or every morning. So we are going to give it a particular time in the morning maybe like 6am or 7am to send that text and it's automatically going to do it by itself. So for this program, we need two Python libraries. These libraries are TextBelt and Schedule. Now TextBelt is the library that is going to be handling sending of the messages. Now Schedule is the library that is going to be handling when we want this script or this message to be executed. So let me up over to my browser. Right here, I have the Schedule library opened on PYPI. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and easy. We just need to install schedule and then I'm go going to get back to this in a second. So first of all, let's import schedule. I'm just going to bring up our terminal right here and paste that. So I have schedule in installed already. So it should tell me something like requirement already satisfied. But for you, you should go ahead and install that. So let's close this. So now that we have schedule installed, let me talk about the other library which we're going to be using. So let me go to the website textbelt.com. Now this is like a website. They they have this platform which allows you to for SMS marketing for various things right there. But they also have an API which developers can use to send text messages. So if you use Python, Ruby, Node.js, JavaScript, there are various languages right here. But for this video, we're focusing on Python. So as you can see, the only thing we need to access is their API is just the requests library. So without wasting any time, let's pop up our terminal. And then we're just going to type pip install request. So this is just gonna install request on our machine. So I have it installed. It says it's requirement ready satisfied. So now that we have all of these, let's just get started with the coding. So as you can see, this is the basic code to just send a text message. So what we just need is the URL which they've given us here and the phone number, the message and the key. So as you can see, we're posting a particular some particular data to this URL. So this key, they have this demo key, which is text built. So that key allows you to send message for free, but once a day. So if you want to have unlimited access, then you have to go for their paid plan. But for this video, I'm just showing you how to use this. We're going to be sticking with this text built key. So let's go back to our code. So the phone number in which we're going to be sending this message is my personal phone number. So I have it stored right here in this credentials of py file. I have my phone number stored as a variable right there just for security reasons. So I don't show it here. So the first thing I want to do is to import the mobile number. So I'll say from credentials, import mobile number. So now that I have that imported, I'm just going to dive straight into the code. So I'll say import requests. So now that request is the library we're going to be using to send data to text build. So now we're just going to have our function, which is going to basically send message. And we don't want to give it any parameter. We don't need to. And then we can just have a simple variable named resp, which will be equals to requests dot post. Then we can say HTTP. So now this is the text built website in which we are sending or are posting our data to. So we'll say text built dot com and slash text. So now we're just going to say the phone number, which is phone should be this mobile number, which we imported. So we'll say it's mobile number. And then the next thing we need to give it is the message. 
So you can just say the message is hey good morning so that's the message and then the key as i explained earlier we're using the demo key the free key so the key is text built now we have all this set up let's make sure we put our comma right here we have all these and then right here we just want to print resp dot json so you want to print the result as in in a json format basically so now we have this code done so this code on its own if i run it it's just gonna execute this function and then send me this message a hey, good morning to my mobile number but that's not what we want to do in this video that's not the main purpose the main purpose is to show you how to schedule this particular function so let's quickly go back to the schedule page right here now you can see that it's pretty easy and straightforward to use this all we just need to do is to import schedule and time and then the function which we want to schedule which we already have right here and then we just need to know the time we want to schedule it to so that's very easy now let's import schedule And then let's import time so now we have these imported and then the next thing we just need to do down below our function we can just say schedule so we want to schedule it to be for every morning so say dot every don't say dot day don't say dot so day dot at so we want to schedule it for every morning at a particular time so right here we should have this curly braces that's because it's like a method like a function which we are using so we're saying schedule dot day dot every dot day dot at so right here this at is the time in the day we want to schedule it for so let's say um, 6 a.m. so 06 a.m. so we don't write a.m. right here what we do is just write it in the 24 hour clock so if it's 6 p.m. we need to put this at 1800 6 a.m. 06 so now that we have that we just say dot do then right here we pass in the function which we want to run so it says send message so now i would like to run this now but if i run this now obviously this is going to send me a message at 6 a.m tomorrow so first of all let's comment this out and then let's run this like every 10 seconds so it's gonna do right now so we can just simply say just for the testing we can say schedule dot every 10 dot seconds dot do and obviously we want to do send message so that's the code to do that so for every 10 seconds it basically do this function and then we must not forget to add our while loop so it continues the loop so every day every minute every second continues the loop so say while true schedule dot run pending yeah that's it and then time let's give it to sleep mm, just one one is fine so now this is ready let's quickly go through recap on what we did so we imported the phone number the request schedule and time then we add the function which does everything and then right here we just scheduled when this function should be executed and then we made sure we add the loop so now let's run this and test it out so let me pop up this terminal right here you can see that it is running so we should give it like 10 seconds because right here we said 10 seconds 
So in 10 seconds, it should have executed. So right here, it says success false error out of quota, quota remaining zero. Now this error just saying that this text belt key right here has been used for the day. So I used this when I was testing it today. So that's basically how to do that. As you can see, it's running every 10 seconds, every 10 seconds. As I said, this key you can only use it once a day. So um, obviously I have used it today, I guess that's why. But again, if we make sure we come here, text built. Okay, so it is text built and we wrote text built. So um, I should have that done already because I have used it today, but let's see. So it might work, it might not work. 50 50 chance. Let's see, let's go. Um, maybe I should quit this, quit, and then run again. So now, fingers crossed. Let's give it 10 seconds. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, it should do well in a minute. So still the same things, test, text are temporarily disabled. So this showed us the same thing that temporarily they have disabled test text. So it's running every 10 seconds. Yeah, that is done. So there are other libraries instead of using text, but you can use Twilio. You can use basically plenty of stuff. But I just showed you how to use this schedule library. That was the main purpose of this video to schedule a task. Now you can see it's doing every 10 seconds and how you want it. So as you can see, they said um, it's temporarily disabled or whatever that is. So if you want to access this, obviously you have to go for the paid plan. But I might also make a video on how to just use Twilio to do this instead of text build. I personally love using text build because it's straightforward and there is no problem when you are using it if you are on the paid plan. But yeah, I guess we're done with this video. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.